lockdown, I've been spending a lot more time in my workshop. Luckily, until very recently, it hasn't been oppressively hot. But one of the things I ran into with a couple projects recently is the drop shelf that was here was not the right height for my current miter saw. So I ripped the shelf out. It was kind of junky anyway. I rebuilt another one to go in its place. And now my miter saw is nice and level. So I have this whole bench to feed wood in and out of. It just feeds right onto the tray and everything's great. But I did that and I was working on another project which is a printing press. Um, it's called a tortilla style printing press. And there's not a lot to it, but even with just this small project, I realized that I did not have the best working environment in my workshop. For the longest time, pretty much ever since we moved in, I've been working on this. A couple of plastic sawhorses and the old bedroom door that the previous owners put a wheelchair handle through. So it's great for putting stuff on to cut or painting or stuff like that, but it's not very stable, it's easy to bump over, and it doesn't have a, any useful features. So I decided I'm spending enough time in the workshop, I need to fix that. First things first, I made a rolling cart to hold my drill press and my bench grinder. I don't use either one of these things all that often, but when I do, they need to be bolted down. They were on this long table, but if I want to feed long boards into the miter saw, they're in the way. They just they get bumped, they make it hard to work around things. So <coughs> built a rolling cart that house, houses both of them, and I only roll it out when I need it. Next, I built a storage workbench. This has a little bit more space than the previous one, but it doesn't have any flashy features other than the fact that, it's, that it rolls. Um, it does have some space underneath that I'm going to use to store some rather large things out here that have just been sitting on the floor. Um, primarily, I made this one because <clears throat> I had some leftover lumber from a different project, and it was dirt cheap to just buy the wheels and the extra two by fours and make uh, another bench. So this one's gonna stay out of the way and I'm only gonna roll it out when I need the extra workspace. And this is where I spent most of my time the last couple weekends. This is my new main workbench with locking wheels so I can secure it in a nice steady place if I need to, but roll it around when I want to reposition it. The top is pretty basic, just a flat piece of plywood. Um, we got the four by four posts as legs with two by fours and plywood. And I have a few little features as part of this to make it a little easier. I have a place to put my metal yardstick so it's not in the way. And at each corner, I have a place that I can throw a speed square so it's always available. Now on the other side, I have I made a place to mount most of the clamps I use when I do basic woodworking or basic projects around the shop. Um, I have a I have something slated to go in there, which is going to be kind of right along the, the same area of expertise as the, uh, the clamps. The other side's still blank. I'm going to see what this bench needs before I add anything to the far bench. But uh, now that I've got a nice working surface in the workshop, I can move on to the next project, which is a years old project, or a years old promise to Kristen to convert uh, old piece of furniture that fell apart into something that we can display in the house. <laughs>